Okay, uh, this is how you share a folder over a net in the network. When you say network, uh, multiple computer connected into one or the single modem, uh, then you can share a folder, uh, a folder throughout the network for multiple computer to see. So I will create a folder. Uh, let's say uh, January twenty nine. Okay, and then uh, you need to make sure that all the uh, network sharing is turned on. Okay, uh, advanced network setting, it's advanced sharing setting, private network, everything is turned on, set, public network, turn on, turn on, all network. Public sharing turn on. Make sure the password protection is turned off. Okay. Done. So this folder, right click, property, sharing, not shared, no? click shared. And then select everyone. If you did not see the uh, everyone, you can create it, type everyone. And it automatically will uh, be included in the list. Okay, shared. Uh, remember the address. Backslash, backslash, MSI. Backslash, January 29. That will be your key in the mapping on the computer too. Okay, share, uh, advanced sharing, permission, everyone, allow. Okay, now the folder is shared. Uh, let's create a, let's create a data. Hmm. Let's restore a, Portable file. This is twenty four. And the data, let's uh, save it on that particular fold folder. January twenty nine. Save it here. Demo. Let's create another user. Go to company, user. Uh, now the admin is logged in. I'm going to create a new user. Uh, user, user one. And password is, uh, maybe it's optional, so I will not create a password. Uh, full access. Uh, okay. Uh, would you like to create a password? No. Okay, I have now two user. So make sure you switch to multiple user before you can use a multiple user mode. Okay, now you are in a multi-user mode. Let's go to uh, computer number two. This is uh, computer number two. Uh, let's go to network. Then right click network. Map network drive. Let's put it in a Y. So backslash backslash MSI January 29. Now we are is already here. So first thing is uh, make sure that there's uh, no antivirus blocking it. So temporarily for uh, testing, I will disable the antivirus.
So the real protection is off. And also the firewall. I'm not so as a techie person. So I just want to make sure that na, no software is or a, a firewall blocking it. So turn off temporarily, turn off, okay. Let's uh, select the QBW file and double click. Okay, we're in. Now, remember the admin is already logged in on the other side of the computer. So I'm going to log in as user one. Uh, QuickBook has opened in multi-user mode. Yes, that's that's correct. And now, uh, we are using the data file on computer one shared on a network. This is user number two to check is user login, uh, admin is login and user one is login. So, okay, that's, that's how you, that's how you do it. Thank you. Bye.